हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक एज पार्ट ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट कस्टम साइट को रिबन आइटम्स यूजिंग पावरफुल एक्सटेंशन आई थिंक सम ऑफ यू गाइज माइट ऑल यू नो इट फॉर अदर्स आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू हैव यू नो अ क्विक वॉक थ्रू सो डेट आई कैन शो हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट दिज आइटम्स डायरेक्टली यूजिंग पावरफुल एक्सटेंशन right so prior to you know uh, powershell extension let's say if you have to create you know some command items directly as, as part of your ribbon what we have to do we have to go to uh, we have to go to custom database you know add some uh, add some you know ribbon items types item and then we go from there but uh, with powershell we don't have to do all those things explicitly of course you know this is all required but uh, this something you know we are not doing it explicitly from our side this is being done you know um, by a powershell script uh, Uh, for us so let's just you know directly get started so uh, let's just go to content editor and here you see like we have this different ribbon items created we have home navigate review and different items so we can assume like uh, we are trying to uh, create a scenario where uh, for one of our existing ribbon items we can take view for example i just want to add you know another section here and inside that section i want to create another uh, you know uh, a button sort of uh, on which you know when i click on that button it uh, it executes some scripts right and that script can do anything you know uh, for this example you know we are just going to take a very minimal script uh, um, you know which will just um, uh, display your item name but uh, you know uh, there could be you know different use cases which where you can you know uh, leverage that button form so uh, in order to do that uh, let's just go to system and then we have this modules we have powershell then we have script library right so these are the different uh, items which we have there some of them are already there which comes as default and some of the you know some of those gets installed when we install a specific module so the first step is let's just click on insert and then we have module wizard we have script module and script module folder so what we can do let's just create a script module and we just give it some uh, name uh, to our module so we'll just call it as uh, maybe sample module okay so okay we just created our module and the module name is sample module when we right click on this um, sample module which is based on your powershell script module template uh, on an insert option we get three options like uh, we can create integration point libraries or we can create script library or we can directly inject some script there right so here uh, for this um, purpose as i mentioned like we want to create some you know ribbon items there so we have to add you know some integration points so when i click on integration point libraries you will see uh, different options you know how, what different integration points we can add um like we uh, you know if you want to do something with a context menu the with contextual ribbon you know with ribbon um you know some notification ex exports actions things like that right so in this uh, for this example i'm just going to select content editor ribbon and click on proceed so when um so what's happening is on the um on the background it is you know creating some scaffold you know some scaffolding items it is creating which we can use as a reference for us and we can add you know uh, our items on top of it so it just done um just expand your content editor you see like we have this content editor and this ribbon item created if we expand it we see you know different ribbon items like analyze configure developer and all those things which you see currently here we also have an option for view right so inside view we just have view and if we click view we just we have this view here right so as i mentioned like i just want to create another section and inside that section we'll have you know uh, one you know button created which um, which will execute some sample script so for, to do that just right click on your uh, view ribbon item click on insert and then you have uh, a powershell script or you can inject a powershell script library as well just click on script library um here and then you just give you know your your script library a name i'll just call it as uh, uh you know my library something like that okay so we have this library and then uh, inside that again if we click on insert either we can inject a script or we can again create a li library so here uh, i'm going to create a script and we call it as uh, uh you know let's say my command right 
okay so just click on ok right so this is based on powershell script your my library is based on your template called powershell script library right so this is what you know uh, you'll uh, we will see you know uh, here and you know just to make it uh, different with other items like we can just specify we can give it a different you know icon and before that let me just okay so that we just go to configure click on icon and just give some simple like a name right so we have this my command given here and we also have the script body so you know this script uh, here I'm just going to write a, a very simple script this is there as part of your powershell documents documentation side so you can you know as what we are doing there like we are just um, trying to you know print the, the current item name here that's it right so yeah this is what we have to do in terms of item creation and when um, this is all done you can just go back to your module and just enable it once it is enabled I think you're good and the next step is let's just uh, go to development tools and then we have uh, we have this PowerShell ISE just click on that and go to settings so we have this settings and we also have this rebuild all where we have uh, we can sync our library with contextual ribbon then we have with content um, ribbon and etc so right so uh, at this point of time uh, as we are trying to add a you know as we're trying to modify an existing ribbon uh, um, you know we are trying to add some new uh, you know items to that uh, which can execute certain scripts so we can what we can do we can just click on sync library with content editor ribbon so once you do that uh, what it does is it basically try to uh, you know create a new button items delete existing item button items which are not in use which doesn't have any you know existing scripts available so it basically performs all the uh, all those tasks right now it is you know it was deleting now it is adding new scripts and once it is over then we can quickly verify on a content editor if our new newly created um, command button is there or not so let's just wait for it okay it is all done and then if we go back to a content editor just refresh it and if we go to a view tab yeah this is what we see right and if you just want to quickly validate it what we had done before inside modules we have powershell script library module ribbon and then this is what we had done right so we had this view my library and my command so you see here we have my library and my command and if I click on this my command it is just going to you know um, display the current item name so in this case it's just home and if we just click on some other item you know let's just click here my command and then uh, just written sandbox as an item name right so yeah this is basically just an example right so you know there could be different use cases also for example if you want to create um, you know different language version items or uh, for example if you want to create uh, or if you want to delete you know certain uh, language version items or number version items let's say you have a language version and for that language version you have different you know number versions item created um, and um, if you feel that you know you have you know uh, if you have more number version items created for a specific language language you can also use this command um, you know to delete uh, you know older uh, version items you know um, so you know you can write all you know that script as part of your uh, as part of your this my command button which you created here and you can just write that script here to perform you know whatever you want to do that so it comes handy and the fun part is you don't have to basically you know write even a single line of C sharp code uh, you know code for that um, and uh, you know you can directly do it um, via PowerShell right and basically it saves a lot of time for you so uh, yeah just one last thing which I just want to show uh, so we talked about this uh, you know rebuild operation where we this we try to sync you know uh, this library with content editor ribbon which means what it does is it basically try to create and add those items directly in the code database as I mentioned initially you know uh, we don't have to do it manually explicitly from our side by going to the code database um, but you know that particular task is being done by this script so if you just want to see uh, you know behind the scenes what this um, script 
script is doing you can verify it by going to SPE code and then you have this platform you have internal and then we have this integrations and we have you know these content editor ribbon so if you just click on that we can just copy and right so what we do here like we have you know path through our strips folder we have ribbons uh, uh, path and then you know we just try to remove um, existing script which are we doesn't have any you know we basically try to remove those buttons which doesn't have any scripts there we also try to add you know those buttons the newly created buttons so yeah uh, pretty much uh, this is what I just wanted to show you as part of you know today's uh, video I hope uh, you liked it and uh, and you know I, and um, thanks for watching stay tuned for more content thank you bye take care